Sleep more than usual for the first week or two when you quit. Take a nap in the afternoon if possible. And get an extra hour or two of sleep each night. The first few weeks of recovery are exhausting when you have to fight the cravings. Even worse is the fear, fear of living without tobacco. Fear of strong emotions, fear of relapsing. So don't let yourself get too tired. People relapse when they are overtired. To summarize, there are some suggestions to prepare your body for recovery. Exercise every day. Eat healthy food. Drink lots of water. Cut down on tea, coffee, pop and alcohol. Use a chemical aid, nicotine patch, gum or zyban. Sleep more. Step 5 on your healing journey is to build a social life that can support you as a non-smoker. Hey, guess what? What? I'm thinking of quitting before I'm planning to quit smoking. Oh, yeah! It's a very good news, huh? Some people will be very pleased to hear the news that you plan to quit smoking. Sounds exciting. Yeah. They will support you and help you through the process. But others may not want you to quit. Perhaps they are smokers themselves and enjoy smoking with you. Or perhaps they find you easier to live or work with when you can just smoke your troubles away. Decide who you will tell about your plans to quit and who you won't. Make a list of the people you can ask to help you and what specific help you will ask for. Don't forget to ask for support from your health worker or a trained smoking counselor if there is one in your community. I want to quit smoking. Oh, good. Come with me. We'll talk about it, okay? Okay. Then ask politely but assertively for the help you need and deserve as you quit smoking. Surround yourself with supportive people. Don't be shy to ask for their help. And try to stay away from those who may in fact want you to relapse. Learning to cope with stress and control our emotions is a key skill for smokers who want to quit. Learn how to deal with these emotions and this stress so that you won't relapse because of it. There are many ways to reduce stress before it builds up too much. Experiment with different ways until you find a few that work well for you. Stress relief is essential to prevent a relapse. Put it in the oven. Wait, wait, wait. Take it up. Sniff it. Most people now know that secondhand smoke is very bad for both smokers and non smokers. The only solution is for all smokers to go outside to smoke, whether at home or at work. If people still smoke in your home or workplace, assert yourself with them. 
explained that you may be tempted to relapse if you have to smell their smoke inside, and that all health authorities now educate people only to smoke outside. To summarize, here are some of the things you can do to prepare yourself socially to be a non-smoker. Assess your friends and family members. Ask for help. Be assertive. Cut down on stress. And make a smoke-free home and workplace. Finally, it's time to make your own personal recovery plan. The more preparation you do of your mind, your spirit, body, and social life, the more likely your plan is to help you. One of the most important things you should consider if you are lucky enough to have a trained smoking counselor in your community is to work with her or him as part of your recovery. You could go for individual counseling or you could attend a support group for smokers who want to quit. But if you don't yet have a smoking counselor in your community, or if you prefer to work alone, here are the key things you need to do to plan your recovery. First, choose a recovery date and stick to it. All smokers panic and want to push their quick date back as that date comes closer. Don't delay it, just think. Soon you will be over the worst and free. Decide whether you will go cold turkey, which means stopping smoking suddenly, all at once, from a pack a day, one day to zero the next day. Or slowly, more gently, wean off cigarettes day by day over a few weeks. Learn about withdrawal symptoms before they happen to you. Some smokers suffer from headaches. Other sleeplessness or nightmares. It's also possible that you might have itchy skin and scalp. While others may suffer from nervousness from the withdrawal symptoms. It is not uncommon that you might have coughing, upset stomach and so on. Almost all suffer from cravings. Do deep breathing and distract yourself until the craving passes. These symptoms are quite normal, though unpleasant, as you quit smoking. Expect them, and accept them as a sign that your body is starting to heal from smoking. When you cough so much after quitting, it is because your lungs are finally getting rid of some of the poison that has been building up in them from the smoke. Don't feel discouraged that you cough more now than when you smoked. It is a great sign of healing. Commit to specific strategies to take better care of your mind, spirit, body and social life as we showed in earlier scenes.